Hey, Professor. Got any new deliveries for me? Sure do. Here they are. And what about any history lessons? Maybe another time. The way things are going around here, I need to focus on the here and now. Ah, well, I totally get that. Okay, later. Package for you. Ferris, come quick! The stork's arrived! The stork's arrived! That's not a stork, honey. That's the carrier. Nonsense! I know a stork when I see one. And it's brought our beautiful baby. Our gorgeous son. Huh? That's right, Tony. He's beautiful. Look, he's yawning. I bet he's tired from his journey. You should put him to bed. Oh. But I want to rock him and hug him and squeeze him. And oh, look, Ferris, look at those little apple cheeks. I could just eat him up. <laughs> That's right. Mummy could just eat up her little boy. Nom, 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 nom. Sweetheart? Oh. But you're right. I'll put him to bed. Still there, buddy? Just tell me I didn't just deliver a baby. No. Don't worry, it's just a doll. Oh, Ferris! His eyes! He has your eyes! I told you he would, honey. What's going on? Look, buddy, my wife recently lost our real son in childbirth. She hasn't been the same since. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But for her, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, so... Someone recommended getting a doll for her to care for. That seems crazy, but we hope it might help her heal. Your son just pooped, Ferris! He even has the cutest poops! How sweet. Look, we just need some privacy, so uh, please keep this under your hat. Here's a little extra. I can't take this. Anyway, it'd be a violation of my carrier's oath if I said anything. I know, but look, she needs a doll to feel better, and I need this, so just take it. Understood. Thank you. So you're Driscoll's new golden boy. And you are? Someone who's had his eye on you. I get that a lot. Smart ass. You're not much to look at. Now let me guess. You're Derek. And the flesh, loser. Carriers used to be heroes. That insignia used to mean something. Well, sounds to me like your behavior wasn't all that heroic when you were a carrier. Fine. I made some mistakes, but I believed in what we did. Not like you, fucking pilgrim. I know what you're after. You're just trying to get some information and then bail. Maybe that's how it started, but that's not how it is now. Bullshit. I'm going to show them what being a real carrier is all about. Teach everyone a lesson. And you? You're cocky. You'll slip up. And I'll be there when you do, Pilgrim. You don't have to yell like that, you know? I'm standing right here. What are you demanding of me? What? I said you were yelling at me. Why would I be rebelling against you, Pilgrim? What? What are you talking about? Just stop shouting at me! I'm sorry. I'm a bit hard of hearing. Oh, now I get it. I'm Pate. I was supposed to infiltrate a renegade camp. I'm on a mission, given to me by Jack himself. If I save a survivor who's been kidnapped, they'll make me a peacekeeper. But I'm afraid. I'm not surprised. Now, about those renegades. No, no I'm afraid of them. Afraid because of my hearing, I'll miss something and royally fuck up. I've already been booted from supply. I was operating the loader and didn't hear it when people started shouting it. Well, long story short, I dropped a crate on someone. And did you... <sighs> Ouch. Do the PKs know you have problems with your hearing? Well, you know what? Luckily, the PK know I can't hear. They want to give me a desk job. Aha! I have to go to the old bridge at the end of Lower Dam Air. Go there instead of me, Pilgrim. I need this win. I'll reward you. Let me think about it. Thanks, man. The prisoner, 
A rather tasty one, I'm told, is being held in a shed near the flag tower. I'll be waiting for you at the windmill across the river. Thank you. My name is Henrietta. Now, Maiden, now go. Meet me at the windmill across the river. Okay. I sure did. The victim, Henrietta, should be here soon. Wait a second. Her name is Henrietta? Oh, no. That's not who I was supposed to rescue. I must have misheard which camp to go to. The PK will never take me now. I'm useless. A useless piece of junk. There you are. I don't know how to thank you. I unlocked the door, but Pete's the one who really saved you. Me? But... I'm just Braun. This guy is the brains of the operation. Planned the entire raid that allowed me to free you. Tactical genius, this one. Saving people's just his thing, right? Boss? Right. Uh, <clears throat> I guess you could say that. Heroic. And modest. Nice. Uh, twerk nothing. Uh, what's your name? I'm Pete. Henrietta. Would you escort me home? I don't want to get taken again. And with you, I'll feel safe. With me? Safe? Wait, Henrietta? You must know that I... M my hearing's not too good and... Don't worry. I'll speak louder. Shall we go? S sure. Let's go. Thank you, Pilgrim. Thanks. Good luck. With her. Kyra. I did it. I... I don't know how to... Tell me what you found. Did he suffer a lot? I found him uh, at peace. I think he died quickly. Oh, that's so good to hear. Thank you. You can take everything away from a person, but the memory of a loved one is invaluable. What a relief. Until now, I felt like an uprooted tree. Here. I kept this recording hidden. Only friends of the squad know about it. I think if the guys were alive, they would agree that that's what you are too. Ah, more great works recovered. Your dedication to this is moving. <laughs> Gulliver's Travels. Jonathan Swift was a brilliant satirist. Here he had a go at human nature and the Traveler's Tales subgenre. <laughs> Magnificent. I fear our world has lost the ability to appreciate the subtlety of satire. But when it can again, this book will be here, thanks to you. Our library is growing, Aiden. Not just in the number of books, but in the amount of knowledge, wisdom, history, and more. We need to keep it growing, Aiden. Uh, but first, let us find some more collections for you. Stay on the line. Package for you. Thank you. Holy... I can't believe you got it. What's that? My fiance's ring. It was... lost. Lost? I lost... her. She was wearing it when the power went out. By the time it was back on, she turned and fled into the night. That's terrible. It was on her shambling corpse. Knowing that thing was wearing it, the ring I gave her tore me up. It was an obscenity. But I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't face her. Not like that. So who got a hold of the ring? Dinesh. He promised he'd track her down and get it for me. He came through. Dinesh would have been my best man. He's my best friend. Well, sounds like it. Hopefully you can start to put this past you. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. What? There's a note in here. 
It's from Dinesh's sister. She says, she says, D Dinesh was out too long. He was already turning when he came back. They had to kill him, but they found the ring clutched in his hand. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. You're back? What the hell happened? Infected? No, met Derek. Cheerful fellow. Not resentful at all. So, you talked. Do you think he's behind Mike's death and the other disappearances? It could be. Seems to have it out for the entire outfit, even though he claims to revere it. And he knows enough to understand what would happen if the guild were destroyed. That makes him very dangerous. So where is he? I don't know. I didn't follow him after. Came straight back here. There's more reasons to be careful, then. Hey, Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who will help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking over and out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you. And you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. See? Walt was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Get him! <sighs> <sighs> Yeah. Oh, fuck! Help What's me! What's happening? Help! I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> My infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Walsh is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Lawan, too. Why do you think he knows anything about Lawan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. Wait, what do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runners special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. 
but she couldn't achieve balance. Oh, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had to focus on mental and emotional strength, not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important, but it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. We'll do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. He's still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. I don't want to fight with you, Hakon. Pity. I don't care what you want. I saved your life at the bazaar. Oh, you saved my life. I saved yours. We're even. Whatever you might think, we're not friends. Never were. Now, give me the key. You know I won't do that. Get that fucking key from him! <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me, to take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! Die! <laughs> How many people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Lawan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? Just answer the question. 
I made a deal with the devil, and she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Walt. But he got suspicious. Threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> I'm sorry, Icon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Icon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to Old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. Huh? I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? Uh, I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening him up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A oh, good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, the one. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. Uh, he's one to talk. But he has. And you could too. Can't you? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. What is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt you. Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! This is bullshit! Get the fuck out of here. Are you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. How do you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. That list is my only purpose. It helped me keep going. Throw it away, Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan... 
wait. Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. Yeah, I... Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And... You won't believe this, but... Luan was there, and... She let Hakon go. She what? Yeah. She destroyed her kill list. I'm floored. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor? Come to the fisheye, Aiden. I'll tell you everything. What are you doing? A few days ago, I thought I saw a bird of prey in the sky. It was bigger than a kestrel. More like a sparrow hawk. It's been bothering me. After all, nothing lives here. At least nothing should. So many chemicals here can't even find rats. That's true. So I dug up my old bird call tapes, and I'm trying to lure it back. And how's that going? <sighs> Poorly. Either I hallucinated, or it's playing hard to get. Maybe you're not speaking its language. I am, I am! Sparrow hogs are hardwired to respond to the call of another male encroaching on his territory. How do you know so much about this? I'm a bird watcher. Or at least I was, back when there were more birds alive than just crows. So, what, you spied on birds? Watch them. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a bit of voyeurism in it. Birds are fascinating. What are you gonna do? I could try one more trick, but I can't do it alone. I'd like to play the calls from a very high place, without anyone around, even myself. <laughs> do you have any particular very high place in mind? The radio tower. This may sound crazy, but if you could do this, it might draw him out and I could observe from here with my binoculars. Makes sense. You think so? Can you help me with this? I can't promise anything. Of course. But if you do decide to help, take this tape recorder. It will definitely come in handy. By the way, I'm Adrian. I'm Aiden. I'll get in touch. There's a nest here. There are abandoned nests all over the place. But there are eggs in it. That's impossible. What are their colors? White, with dots. Brown dots? That's right. How many are there? Six? Uh, five. <laughs> Sparrow Hawk! Oh, Aiden, I love you! If nature is returning to the city, it means the air is getting cleaner. The amount of chemical particulates in the air is going down. Get away from the nest at once. Wait, what about the tape recorder? No self-respecting bird watcher would disturb a nesting bird. Let's hope the young hatch. Yeah, they're probably safe here. I think so. Thank you, Aiden. This is really a great day for me. I'm glad I could help. And I thought he was yanking my chain. Yanking your what? Your boss said you'd be here earlier. My boss? Your boss, Eberhard. I don't know him. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. I am Ferenc Waller. I used to be a cardiac uh, heart surgeon. I'm Aiden, but who is Eberhard? At this point... I'm not sure anymore. Some guy I met said <coughs> he'd arranged to recover a pacemaker from the medical offices in the, in the quarantine building for me. Did you pay him in advance? I did. <coughs> that wasn't too smart. Oh, well. I guess I'll just go after the pacemaker myself. I promised my wife I would get it. And I intend to keep my word. What is a pacemaker? It's a little shock box. To simulate the heartbeat and to keep it beating. For those suffering from damaged hearts, it was the only way to lead a normal life. They're pretty rare nowadays. <laughs> How do you know it's there? I consulted there back in the day. So I know where they keep equipment like this. Where, exactly? Are you offering to go for me? 
Why not? If I can help. Besides, you promised your wife, right? Excellent. The medical equipment room's on the third floor. But it's dangerous in there right now. I'll wait until tonight when the infected leave the building. They'll find shelter around here for now. I'll be at the windmill. Good luck, Aiden. Found your pacemaker. Thank you. Now I need to arrange for surgery. I hope you can, and that your wife will be okay. My wife? Oh, I buried her last year. Natural causes. Nothing heart-related. I'm the one with the faulty ticker. <coughs> and it's running down more and more every month. Monica made me swear to take care of myself. I've been helping others all my life. The time has come to help myself. Okay, but who's gonna implant the pacemaker? I'll figure that out soon enough. First step was to get a hold of a pacemaker. Now what? Continue the race against time, I guess. I can't be the only heart surgeon left in the world. I hope you find one, Doctor. And soon. Thank you, Aiden. Take care. Who? City. Me? Hmm. Yes. I could I could definitely paint you. But 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 no, no. I have to avoid distractions. Not if I want to finish my greatest work. The greatest work? What's that? A grand fresco. My my, my magnum opus. A painting of epic proportions the, the world is not prepared to see. But I can't finish it. I, I don't have the proper shade of red. Red? Yes. The reddest red. I need it badly, and all these idiot merchants have is some kind of pale joke. Without the reddest red, my project will remain incomplete, and my art will not find the expression it requires. Of course, I could get my hands on... But, but no, that's just such a crazy idea. It sends shivers down my spine. Let's hear it. Oh, my. Uh, are, are you sure? That... Okay, then. Uh, I, I have to admit, I already experimented in secret. And what I need is blood of the infected. Uh, but not just any infected. I find the blood of a goon is the only one that is apt to give me the true, deep red I need. I've been observing this particular goon in a certain area, and uh, have taken to leaving out red wine for it to drink. Wine should make its blood an even more intense shade. It becomes rather aggressive after drinking the wine. Do you think you're up to the task of bringing me the creature's blood? Sure. Sounds like fun. Go, then. Uh, uh, come back when you've acquired its blood. Look what I brought you. Oh, uh, my god. Is it from my goon? Uh, let me see. Pilgrim, you can stand tall today, for you have done your part, however small, in making art history. Now leave. I have to focus to create the one red the world longs to see and paint a fresco that will change it forever. If you come back later, maybe you will see it. Oh, uh, you may have a use for this. My older brother John gave it to me for protection, but I'd probably kill myself trying to use it. Wait, what are you ranting about, mister? Ranting? Son, I'm trying to safeguard our collective memory. I'm only trying to preserve history. 
Seems like a big task. Can one man even do that? I have a good background for that. For 30 years, I was a tourist guide. After the fall, I founded Villador's Historical Conservation Society. It doesn't seem to be much to conserve around here anymore. Thank the renegades for that. Still, more than ever, we must remember our past. We must keep track. Otherwise, we'll slip into the Dark Ages for good. We can't build a future for humankind if we don't know our history. What do you say I ask you two or three questions about that? See if you've been paying attention. See if you do know our past. So, you ready to talk history now? I can try. Good. Let's start with one of the defining moments of our history. A tragic event that had such an impact, it still defines how the city looks today. Here goes. What event went down in history as Black Monday? That would be the chemical strikes on the city 11 years ago. Correct. On January 6th, 2025, at 0800 hours, the butcher, Colonel Williams, decided to use a newly discovered chemical compound, the THV Gen Mod, to stop infection. Hope of reclaiming control of the city turned to tragedy. Millions of residents were killed. It also caused terrifying mutations of the infected, turning them into what we now call specials. The chemicals are still active today. Don't get near them. I mentioned the March Massacre before. Any clue what happened on this day? The army killed 64 civilians protesting against weapons confiscation. You actually have been paying attention. This is correct. This shooting was the beginning of escalation of riots in the city, which finally led to the fall of General Pratt and Colonel Williams taking over. The army confiscated all the guns and ammo. It all started there, south of Houndfield, by the monument of the World Art Congress. The last question. Let's go for a moment out of Villador, taking a global perspective. Before mutating, THV was simply known as Haran virus. Haran is where it all started. But do you remember when the Haran events happened? In early spring, 2014. Bravo! I'm impressed, young man. Indeed. The virus emerged during Haran's Global Athletic Games in 2014 and went dormant after the city was quarantined. It was subsequently turned into an exclusion zone by the GRE. I remember those would-be games. I even took a week off to watch them. My country had many metal prospects. No one expected it would become hell on Earth. But that's the part everyone knows and never talks about, since it's what caused the fall. I commend you on your knowledge, young man. Never stop seeking more. And never forget, we're always just a few burning history books away from darkness. Here's a small token of my appreciation. Should teach you a bit about one of my favorite parts of the city, the catacombs. My name is Manfred. You don't even know how lucky it is that you've come along, Pilgrim. Let's find out. I have made contact with one of China's satellites, which are still in orbit. Ha! Huh. Yes, yes. I know that look. You're excited too. Wow! How did you do that? I constructed a device that boosts the range of the radio tower's receiver, so that it can receive signals beamed from the satellites. I was able to send a message and... someone answered me. I mean, the reply was garbled, and I didn't understand anything, of course, but... Do you realize what this means? There are others with electricity, technology. They can help us, or we can help them. Only, I was preparing a response to the last message when... I was attacked by infected. 
Head down south on Lower Dam Promenade. You'll see there are two buildings connected by an overhead walkway. You need to clear the roof of the one on the south. There's a radio tower on it. Please, I've been working on this for years. I gotcha. Just let me think about it. Thank you. As soon as you get rid of them, radio me and I'll come join you. You got it. Now go up the tower and activate the devices I installed. Fire up the connection. I'll be right there. We'll go down in history in a moment, Pilgrim. I don't understand Chinese, though. And you've seen a little of the world, so maybe... Uh, I, I don't know Chinese. I've only been wandering around Europe. Okay. We must make ourselves understood somehow. Gotcha. Let's avoid colloquial phrases such as gotcha. I'll be there in a moment. Okay, it's on. I'm calling from Villador, in Europe. Until now, we thought that we were the last surviving city in the world. We have some medicine and supplies. What's it like there in Asia? Over. Can anyone hear me? Over. Can anybody hear us? Over. We're losing the signal, Aiden. We have to hurry. Villador here. Pick up. <laughs> losing them. Europe to Asia. <laughs> Europe to Asia. Europe to Asia! It worked! Aiden, you hear that? What the fuck, Aiden? What crazy shit you up to now? I know that voice. This is Jack! How the hell did you hack into an encrypted channel? The PK Commander? I'm dead. I am so dead. I don't know how you did it, but... Jack! This guy here, Manfred, he thought he was hacking an old Chinese satellite. Is that so? I could use a man with his skills. Tell this Manfred to come see me at the ship. What? Me? Th th thank you. I... And no more hacking. Unless it's on my orders. Well, Manfred, looks like you got yourself a new job. Yes, and I'll have access to better equipment with the PK-2. I'll be able to contact Asia now for sure. Thank you. Help yourself to the valuables I've stored under the tower. What can I get for you, Baba? Your tone grows too familiar. Know your place, boy. Carvath, don't be rude. Your own tone could use some improvement. Do you not remember your place, witch? Must I remind you yet again? All right, what's with you two? Yeah, something's going on and I want to know what it is. It remains none of your concern. Corvus is right. We should stick to business. And I have another large order to fulfill. That means I'll be trapping, not collecting. Precisely. Go to the GRE island and you'll find a large swarm of virals. I need you to catch two creatures in the trap. Two and one. Got it. Supply already set up the trap. And don't get cocky. Them beastlies will surely give you a run for your money. That running's all I know, Baba. Aiden, how did it go? Two frothing virals, packaged and ready for delivery. That's wonderful. I can make all manner of potions and medications from their live organs. You saved many a life today, Aiden. Villador, what's left of it, is grateful. Well, oh, it's all in a night's work. No use waiting around for something bad to happen. You have any deliveries for me? I do. But remember, you have more than Derek to worry about out there. Don't worry, Professor. Postmen have been delivering in adverse conditions for thousands of years. The paths we walk become roads. Isn't that the saying? Well, aye, but the roads better not be bustling with the infected. Especially the types we're seeing now. Reports of new and, frankly, terrifying new creatures. Yeah, I've seen plenty. God help us. I wouldn't hold your breath for that. Mail for you, sir. Thanks. About time. Been quiet around here lately. Oh, honey, I, I could have gotten that. Stop that, Tanya. Don't you treat me like I'm useless, too. 
I didn't mean that. I, I just, just remember, I only lost a leg. I didn't become one of those things. N no, no. But um, but well, um, who who's the letter from? HQ. And I can tell you what it says before I open it. Yep. <laughs> I've been booted. No longer fit for duty. No. Oh, honey. Oh, shut up. I don't need your pity. What I need is something to fucking do. Right now, I'm just a lame horse waiting to be shot. Well, maybe just give it some time, honey. There's... Plenty someone in your condition can... What did I just say? None of your fucking pity! I may have lost my leg, but I can still chase you down! I still got two hands to slap you with. So shut your fucking mouth! Carriers Guild. Thank you. Wait a moment, won't you please? Is someone at the door, Giselle? No, Mother. I was just locking it. Thank you for the letter. It's from my love, Kelt. He lives on the other side of the city. We belong together. But my parents forbid it. Ah, uh, yeah. Seems like a local fashion these days. But uh, I'm not sure what I can do for you. For one, you can just listen. I have no one else to talk to. Okay. And you can have this letter delivered. If he could afford to leave his family, we would be together. But he can't. So I'll go to him. The letter says where he should meet me. Okay. I'll take this back to the guild. Hey, hot shot. How deliveries go? Uh, the usual. I was given a letter. I'll make sure that's processed. Thanks, Professor. Bloody hell, you're just scrambling up the ladder here. A few more rungs and you're gonna get promoted again. <laughs>